Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Bloom Outdoors. So if you guys checked out the last video, you saw the new truck. Here it is again, 2022 F-150 XLT in space white crew cab with the long bed. Long bed that you can get with the crew cab at least. Um, six and a half foot bed, 157 inch wheelbase. Uh, so this video, we're going to be talking about mods, about what I have already done in the two weeks that I've owned the truck. Um, and also, I need some help from you guys on what products to get, if anybody has any suggestions at least. So we'll start with the latest thing that I just did tonight that took like five minutes, is the rear seat release by Built Right Industries. Very easy little install. Um, it's just the lever to pop down the back seat. Um, I will leave a link for that video right up here, doing it on my last truck. I didn't feel a need to make it again for this one since I've already made the video before and it's very easy. Um, but anyways, we now have this little lever right here. Let's go ahead and pull that. Rear seat drops down. So, yep, very nice. Otherwise you gotta try and figure out how to get your fingers in here. Grab that little tab thingy right there, lift it up. Seems like you do have to put a little bit of force back on the seat when you're pushing it in um, to get it to latch all the way. But once you got it, you got it, you're good. Um, does have the under the seat storage too. Not the big Lux box, just a little tiny one. So a question I got for you guys then, does anybody have any recommendations on seat covers or some kind of rear seat cover thing for the dog to sit back here? As of right now, I just have that blanket that sits on the back seat. But if anybody has any suggestions on maybe a seat cover for back here or like a dog mat cover thing, preferably something that would be easy to remove a uh, seat cover could stay on but if it's like a dog mat thing or something it's not going to pee or poop or anything back here but just to keep leaves grass hair whatever um, off the seat but otherwise to easily remove so that way if i need under the back seat you know this thing can fold up all the way and latch into place and not have to worry about it falling down so if the dog isn't here, then I can still fold it up and not have any issues. Um, so if anybody has any comments or ideas for that, go ahead and drop it down in the comments below. Greatly appreciated. So one other thing I did, which was pretty much right away after I got the truck, it did not come with the bed utility package, which is a new um, thing with this truck. It does have the little seat clamp holders, but the bed utility package, you get the step in the tailgate here, which as you can see, this one does not have. Um, you might get the work surface thing right here. I'm not sure on that, if that comes in that package, um, but you also get the box links and the lights in the bed here. So as you can probably tell, I don't think those are the lights that are supposed to come on this truck. Um, I was trying to look into it and find some companies that made something. There was one company, I don't remember the name of it, but the way you had to run a wiring harness was like through the bed and then into the cab up and connect it to the third brake light. And then anytime you hit unlock on your remote um, or your key fob, then the lights would come on. I don't like that concept and I didn't want to go with it. I didn't want to have to go run all new wiring through the frame or bed or whatever it is. Kind of a funny story, but my dad traded in his truck. He had a 2018 f-150 platinum he got himself a new truck but his truck had these box links and the bed lights in it so he said because i got this truck before he traded his in and he said well if you want just come take it off my truck i was like okay sure so i went and stole this stuff off of his truck before he went and traded it in so anyways now we have factory box links even though those are off of a 2018 F-150, same thing with the bed lights. Like I said, I don't believe those are what the factory lights for this body style look like, but they're bed lights. It's the same exact holes, same switch. 
I think it's just a different design of the light. And so I guess how I got this to work was, I don't feel like crawling under the truck, but under the truck about right here and right there, there is the factory harnesses already ran and everything. They just had the little caps in it. So I pulled those caps out, stole the wiring harness off of his truck, and I put the caps back in on his truck and I put the cap covers because this was just black, um, black plastic that covered it. So I just took those, put it on his truck, reran the wiring harness from his truck, ran it up in the factory spot, put it in all the factory locations, ran it up, and nobody's ever going to know that this isn't something that didn't come from factory. The button worked just fine. You would press the button. This light and that light would not turn on. However, the light up there and this light and the puddle lamps would turn on. So that is some of the stuff that's supposed to turn on. You know, the puddle lamps, third brake light, the light back here. But you're also supposed to get these bed lights to turn on. So... It all worked except for the bed lights. So I figured, okay, either something's wrong with this wiring harness I just took off of his 2018 to try and put on a 22, even though all the pins and plugs and everything was the same. So I figured, okay, maybe there is some programming, you know, that's off that the truck doesn't have enabled. So I was talking to one of the guys I know that uh, does a lot of stuff with Forescan. It's the living it up because he does the clusters that I bought for my old truck. He programs those. So I messaged him and he gave me a couple codes um, for, he said like his buddy did the same thing. So he gave me a couple of codes that his buddy used. Um, and I tried those. He gave me three different codes or, you know, numbers to change. Um, it was the second one he gave me was the same on my truck already, but the other two were different. So I changed that and I got it to work. So I will go ahead and leave those codes across the screen right now. So if anybody wants to do that, there's the codes. Um, you can go ahead and do it yourself. But I can go ahead and show it to you just because now it does work. So you press the button there. You get the third brake light, the bed lights, and the puddle lamps, which I mean, you can kind of see here. So I can just show you a little comparison since it's dark outside. If I just turn off the lights in here, I'll be able to see. Okay, it is pitch black in here. So we're just gonna leave that one light on so I can still see to walk around here. But as you can tell, it's dark. So go ahead and press this button and it is all lit up back here. Our puddle lamps are on. We've got the light right back here on to light up behind third brake light, and the bed lights. So, nice little feature I added in there from something that wasn't factory that I wanted factory. So, that was kind of my first actual mod, I guess, even though it was something that was factory. Um, it's a mod to me, maybe not to some people, but a uh, cool idea or thing that I did. I don't know. I like it. Um, you guys might not, I don't really care. That's kind of all I've done is the back seat release drop down thing and the bed lights. And then there was a couple other four scan changes I made while I was there working with it, like disable seat belt chimes and some other stuff. Nothing major, um, but just some little stuff with that. Okay, so now we can go ahead and talk about the list of things I want to do to the truck. And I'm kind of looking for your guys' opinions or ideas on what brands to go with, what you guys like, um, just to kind of get an idea of it. So first thing we can talk about here is going to be floor mats. As you can see, we just have the carpet in here. I can't do that. Uh, like I said, I only use it for like hunting, fishing, side jobs. It's going to get dirty. So I need some kind of like all weather or rubber or something floor mat. I like the ones I had in my old truck. They were the 
Ford ones and they were like a rubber. Um, I've seen a lot of people go with the Husky ones. I'm not a huge fan of that because that seems like it's more of a hard plastic. I'm not a big fan of that because it just seems really slippery and slidey. I kind of like the hard rubber because you get traction in there. It helps a lot when your feet are wet or snowy or something. Um, but if anybody has suggestions on that, um, fronts and rears, go ahead and drop it in the comments below. So I mentioned the rear seat cover thing for the dog as well. Drop that in the comments. Um, wheel well liners, because I don't like that you can see the white right there. I would prefer all that to just be black in there. I think it would hide, hide the white. It would just make it look better. I think with those, I'm going to go with the Ford factory ones. It's kind of doing some looking and I think those just kind of look the best in there. But like I said, if you guys have any comments or ideas or whatever, drop it in the comments. Just go against what I say. Um, if you say you like the rough country ones better, drop it in the comments. I don't know. Just let me know your guys' thoughts. I want to do some kind of mud flap or splash guard. I like the gator back ones that um, they're like the hard rubber that hang down a few inches. I like those. Um, not a huge fan of the kind of hard rubbery plastic ones. I mean, basically like this. This is really stupid to me too. That thing, the front mud flap. The tonneau cover, if anybody has any ideas on that. Um, I was kind of looking at the Truxedo ones. I like the ones that are just the like the vinyl top, no metal in it. Maybe like the metal bars that go across, but just kind of the vinyl top, open the tailgate, hit a button or pull a string, whatever it is, the thing flips up and you can just roll it up all the way. Um, doesn't have to be super nice, but I mean something decent. So if anybody has any ideas for that, also if anybody has any good places to buy this stuff, I mean, normally I go with like American trucks or Amazon or something, but if anybody has any better places, maybe with cheaper options, let me know. Uh, I ordered a bed mat. I saw some negative things about doing Linex in these, like you got to go back into the dealer and get, um, I think it's the rear camera recalibrated because they like take off the tailgate or something like that. It's something weird. And I don't really want to do line X because it's pretty expensive and usually they cover up the bolts. I don't know, kind of just want the rubber mat. Just kind of helps keep stuff in its place. And it's better on my knees when I'm up in here too. I'm going to tint the front windows. I think we're just going to match it with the rears. I'm um, going to keep it a pretty simple build. Keep it an old man rig. I don't want to lift this one to the sky. And it's got a V6, so no exhaust. Maybe a different antenna. So the other thing, like I mentioned, I think it was this video earlier in it, was the taillights. How these are halogen bulbs here and here. Um, and also with the license plate lights. So if anybody has any ideas or suggestions on maybe some LEDs for that. So we get all LED lights around the whole truck. That would be great. And then I think the last thing, other than those few things I mentioned is I'm thinking a cattle guard. Like I said, I'm driving it for hunting. I don't live in a big city or whatever. Um, and where I have to drive to go hunt is like an hour away. And it's pretty much always in the dark driving before sunrise or after sunset. So I think a cattle guard would be nice just in case, you know, a deer does decide to run out in front of me. I got real nervous of that with the last truck. Um, so if anybody has any ideas or suggestions with that, I like the ranch hand ones, but um, those are pretty pricey. Pretty much everything is. I kind of wanted to do a full bumper with the cattle guard that comes up, but I heard some people saying with that, you get a lot of extra weight in the front end. You kind of need to level the truck to get it to sit back at factory height, but then it also wears a lot of the front end components a lot faster. So I was almost thinking just the cattle guard, you know, pull the tow hooks out get the cattle guard that comes out, but I feel like that's not as strong as the full bumper one. I don't know if anybody has any thoughts, ideas, suggestions on that, drop it down below. Um, if there's any other cool mods or anything you guys wanna see done, let me know. Any four scan changes, I don't know, anything. 
just go ahead and drop it down in the comments below. There's not going to be a whole lot of stuff I do to it and probably not going to be a whole lot of videos I do about it either. Because like I said, tonneau cover, bed mat. I might do a video on the tonneau cover if I do it myself because now I have a bunch of Ford Pass um, points now. So I might just do a Ford cover and just have them install it there. Um, but like a bed mat, you guys don't need to see me put that in. Floor mats, that takes three seconds. You guys don't need to see me put that in. So maybe like install the cattle guard and the tonneau cover if I do that. I don't know. I might tint the windows myself. I'm not sure yet. I need some good tint. Uh, also, if anybody knows of some good tint, I kind of want that stuff that keeps the heat out. It's like, I think it's called ceramic. But I don't know, because with my last truck, I told the guy to put ceramic on it, but it was always hot when I got in there. It was never cool, so I don't know if he put ceramic on it or if ceramic just isn't what I'm thinking of. But the one to keep the heat out. Not going to do windshield tint on this one. That was too hard to drive everywhere at night in the last one with that. Um, I like the idea of tow mirrors, especially with the six and a half foot bed. But I think those are going to be really pricey, especially with the 360 degree cameras. And I would probably just go with the Ford factory ones. It's either that or Boost Auto Parts, but I don't know yet. So, like I said, if you guys have any ideas, comments, questions, concerns, anything like that, go ahead. Drop it down in the comments below. Let me know your guys' ideas, thoughts, opinions, all that stuff on the truck the mods we have done and are going to do it would be much appreciated and i think that's it so as always thanks for watching another video of bloom outdoors don't forget to like comment and subscribe and we will catch you guys next time